So it seems like Ludacris and Tiffany Haddish had a response and reacted to what Cat Williams said on Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay. A lot of you guys already know about the viral interview that went down on this podcast. And Ludacris and also Tiffany did not take a liking to what Cat Williams said, exposing the industry and the whole things that go down in Hollywood, which a lot of people probably already have been knowing about the stuff that happens in Hollywood. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at Ludacris responding back to what Cat Williams said. And then also we're going to take a look and a listen to what Tiffany Haddish had to say. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take a listen to what Cat Williams said because this is not the only time Cat Williams has dissed Tiffany and other comedians. And then we're going to take a look at her response and also Ludacris. And then also stay towards the end because I want to show you guys something about Kevin Hart that a lot of you guys probably haven't seen. I want to show you this audio clip. So stay tuned for the end of that. If you guys don't mind dropping a like on the video, that would be highly appreciated. And feel free to share this video out as well. And also comment you guys' opinions. I love when you guys engage and comment. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this topic. Body gonna sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm. who has showed them girls trip. Did you think she wrote girls trip goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, I'm the introduction to Tiffany Haddish in the movie School Dance. The clip for School Dance has been seen more times than the movie has. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. But but the movie wow. girl the the girls trip movie. Yes, ma'am. The one with that, four with with three of our greatest black actresses in it. You right, mean that one? Right, right. But oh. I'm just saying, Tiffany Haddish. Ma'am, you could have Tiffany, had that role, yeah. and everything that happened would have happened unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue. I'm a writer. I only care about what you write. I don't care about what you read. Everybody can read that can read. Now, this is just a reminder clip on what Cat Williams said about Ludacris, and then I'll go ahead and play the response from Ludacris and Tiffany. So stay tuned for that. Folks. Are you related to uh, Luda? No. Um, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing. And it had to be one or the other of us and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us. We were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get two hundred million dollars because they were going to pay him 10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Now, one person ended up with a light skinned, ugly faced wife that's never done a remember I told you that if I say that it applied to seven people, yeah. it's part of what they give you. OK, I didn't get it. I'm not mad about it. How much money they give? Two hundred, sir. Fast and Furious is on what number right 10. now? Ten. Million. Two hundred million. I might need to get me one of the more women to look, to look, look the same. That's what they all end up saying at the end of the day. Kevin told you he wasn't go wear no dress until they offered him the dress, and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision, duh, but you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? All right, so now that we got that out the way, now I want you guys to take a listen to both both of their responses. I'm going to play Ludacris's first, and then after that, I'm going to play Tiffany's, and then I'm going to give out my thoughts and opinions, and then also stay towards the end because I want to show you this clip with Kevin Hart, and then we're going to close the video out. Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grind They throwing shade cause niggas could never take my shine I bring my watch collection on my jet, let me take my time Like fine wine, I'm aging like Benjamin Top five, I'm worth mentioning Bring me rappers, I'm lynching them See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns Ludacris, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born Never been Illuminati, 
only a looter naughty and I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton, you never have to flex when you earn every one of your fast and furious checks. Afro with the sideburns, yeah that's my signature. Addictions on the rise, comedians check your temperature. So as you see, Tiffany also responded under the post by saying, I am not mad. I just wish he would get his facts right about me. Dang, I guess I will send him a reminder text. But are we sure that is Cat Williams? He looks a lot like Charleston White. Now, my take on this whole situation, a lot of people that Cat Williams called out and exposed, a lot of these people are not denying what he's saying. And I definitely believe what Cat Williams is saying. The truth is going to come out. We will know about the truth. And I've been knowing about this whole stuff that happens in Hollywood. And Cat Williams has been in the game for quite some time now. So I know he's heard a lot of stories. I've known he's seen a lot of things as well too. And he's also been in the position to where he was offered these certain things. We will give you this much money. He said, he stated in the interview, P Diddy offered him some money about like three times and he turned down the money because he knew if he accepted the money, he knows what comes with it. And this is where I want to touch on the Kevin Hart situation because there was an interview with Kelly Clarkson stating what Cat Williams said in his interview with Club Shay Shay where she was stating that she's been offered a tons and tons of money to do something she does not want to do. And this is a prime example on what Cat Williams was offered from P. Diddy. He was offered tons and tons of money but he knew he was gonna have to do something he didn't want to do. So when Kelly Clarkson told that to Kevin Hart, I want you guys to just take a look at what Kevin Hart did and how he reacted to when Kelly Clarkson brought this up because we know that Kevin Hart got offered this and we know Kevin Hart was forced to do things he did not want to do because there are things that Kevin Hart has done on camera that will show he was forced to do these things. But go ahead and take a listen to this and then we're going to close the video out. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Just you've been off. Yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. That was my way of yes, cueing you. Like it's open dialogue. Yeah. You want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, let's, we can keep talking about anything. But. <laughs> but don't do it. Yeah. I just, I, it's been so as you guys see, we know Kevin Hart has been offered. Look what Kelly Clarkson, she whispered, oh, you've been offered? She whispered that. And Kevin Hart just told her, shh, because he knows. A lot of things will come out in the light in 2024. But I want to hear you guys' opinions. Comment down below. Share this video out. Share this to everyone. And be sure to like this video so it can come out into the algorithm. If you made it this far, salute to you. I appreciate every one of you guys. I love every single one of you guys, but that's all I got. Until next time, peace out.